How's everyone doing today? Uh, Mr. Shannis, what hey, do you think? Good evening. How are you today? Uh, uh, another good day. Another great day uh, at uh, Shannis 50 Plus. Yeah. Uh, we're here at the Shannis Town Studios. Uh, this is our eighth episode. Yeah. Eighth. Uh, eighth episode. Yeah. Uh, my, how time flies, you know, uh, mm. and, and away we go. You know, uh, today we have a very, very interesting guest. Very. Uh, uh, an international them. boxing champion, uh, and uh, he is here from the Lewis Boxing Gym, I believe yes, it is. Yes, over on Commercial Street. Yes, here's Springfield. Here's, here's Springfield. Yes, yeah. right down, right downtown, uh, the old downtown. The old downtown. Commercial the, Street. Right, the real downtown. Yes. Uh, what where, what used to be downtown right. before they built the square. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on Shannon's 50 Plus, Mr. Hal Lewis. Mr. Hal Lewis. Come on. Thank you. Hi, Hi, How you doing, Hal? Yeah, it's great. Take your selfie. Take yourself a nice seat. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, um, being in the boxing industry, uh -huh. um, have you ever seen anything go awry in any way? Uh, bad fight, uh, oh, fixed fight? Oh, uh, well, you know, now, in, in my days, you know, uh, there wasn't very many fixed fights, I don't think, but back in the 50s and the 40s, you know, when the uh, mob owned boxing. Mm, right. See, back then, mm. you know, yes, there, there there was a lot of turnovers. Yeah. Right, you know, yeah. Uh, uh, upset fights. Upset and fights, that's right. Yeah, things that uh, people did not expect. That's true. That's huh. true. That's true. Uh, so you've been boxing for some 40 plus years. Yeah, I started boxing at the boys club about 10. Mm -hmm. Amateur, and then I fought amateur until I was about 18, and then I went into karate for a while. Really? Uh huh, because I got a little bored, and then I came back to boxing. Hmm, and boxing then, with uh, karate. Uh -huh. and, and, and then I uh, I uh, started boxing again, and got a little thing going, and hooked up, and fought in, in uh, Madison Square Garden back in. Wow. Uh, back in 80. Three, four. Uh -huh. yeah. That's a big place. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been there. How many people did you box in front of at that time? Uh, during my pro career, or yeah, at the Madison Square Show. Madison, at Madison Square, just uh, one fight. Yeah. I mean, uh, how many people were boxing oh, right there? Oh, 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 shit! That was about probably sixty-five. Whole, yeah, I was gonna say Six, probably sixty-five, seventy. Yeah, yeah. sixty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Right, huh? yeah. That's a big yeah. crowd. Yeah. Very, very big crowd. You know, uh, one thing that uh, comes to mind to me is that. Uh, you know, in, in music, uh, you know, it teaches kids certain things. Mm -hmm. Some discipline. Uh, there's some certain uh, disciplinary things. Uh, what are some of the few things uh, right off the top of your head that boxing teaches the younger crowd? Okay. What I like to teach them is discipline. Okay. You know, boxing is about discipline. you got to have discipline right. to box. Okay. So that carries out on the street. Right, you know. I like them that, that you know always be good to the parents. Right. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. You know, but they talk about bullying now. You know, everything's about bullying now. Right. Well, you, you know, I see it like this. You, you know, if somebody's bothering you in school or something like that, you know, you, you go tell the teacher. Right. The teacher don't do nothing about it. You tell the principal. Okay. Tell, tell someone. someone. Yeah, tell someone. Right. You know, let them know. Mm. You know, because they might say something, but that's not going to stop it. That's right. To my knowledge. Right. You know, so that's where I come. I come in, some kids come in, talk to me about it. And I said, well, you know, the best thing to do is to turn your back, but, but watch how you turn your back and, and, and walk off. But if you can't, you just have to do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Well, you there's know, such thing as defending yourself. As, yeah. Yeah. as yeah. defending yourself, right. yes. So, uh, I like to teach kids that scared, that want to learn how to defend themselves. But now, that don't mean they, they out there hurt nobody. You don't go out back out and bully people. Right, 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 mm -hmm. right, right, right. So, down at your gym, uh, you bring in ages of children from the age of five, five on up. On up. Wow. Uh, Five years old. Uh -huh. That's yes. amazing. I also understand you have another uh, gym up in uh, Kansas City. Well, no. What I was doing was helping out uh, Liberty's football team. Oh. The, the uh, offensive see. team for uh, hands and, and uh, feet coordination. Oh, wow. That's a, that's quite a quite a job right there. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. That's awesome. And, and uh, I did it here for uh, a banjo college. Oh, too. fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic. So uh, in boxing, uh, uh, the hand-feet coordination is obviously very, very important. Yes, it is. It is. And balance it's and balance. all of that. That is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, what type of force would it take to uh, you know, let's say if you hit him in the right spot, um, what, there uh, some sort of a mathematical formula as far as a force that well, would take to knock someone out. Well, yeah, but you know, you, you, you know, you know, you don't try to knock somebody out. That comes. You work that up. You know, but as far as, as force, everybody thinks that you know that big. Uh, mm -hmm. that big no, but it's how you turn your body mm -hmm. into the punch, your hips and your shoulders, and turn your feet. Kind of like a golfer. Kind of like a golfer. Yeah, or a baseball player. Right. Sure. sure. Kind of. Or a batter. Or a batter. Yes. Yeah. Use your whole so, body instead yeah. of just your so, arms. So, uh, so they they all. It's kind of like the same purpose, but it's not. But one thing good about boxing, boxing can help you in other sports. You know, baseball, football. Sure, I can see that sure. because it's all about you know hand, feet, coordination. coordination. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Mechanical skills. Yeah. yeah. So what was one of your longest matches or one of your, you know? One, I, I fought one time in uh, Atlanta. I fought a six round fight, a six, a six round fight. Sure. A redhead. Now, I hit this redhead with the best shot I had and it didn't eat any mm. <laughs> <laughs> he, did not, he might turn red, but he did not think. And, that, oh. and, and yeah, really, and that was the hardest fight I ever had. Oh, the man, the hardest. Man. The hardest. Yeah, Sounds really like, boy. you know, it's like uh, getting somebody your best well, shot and you know well, that that should have done something. And it's like, hey, woo. And then you oh, you it, shouldn't have done that. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, hey, you hit him with your best, your best shot and then you, you let your glove like it. You ain't doing your job. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Um, you know, the hometown favorite here, uh, B.J. Flores. Uh -huh. um, have you ever talked with him at all? Yes. B.J. is a good young man. Hmm. You know, and... What is he, 34? Well, he may be 30, 30. He might be 31, 32. Yeah. Somewhere okay. in, 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 in there. He's a good... He was a good, great amateur fighter. He's got one of the best jabs in boxing right now hmm. I would think and that's the quick that, that's that, that that's the quickness but I like to see him step up and fight somebody of course fights have fell through that's mm -hmm. supposed to be in well he just fought here point. in Springfield back in October yes, uh, McNamara yes. or, uh, yeah, yeah yeah he took him out in I think uh, the second, second round, round. Second round. Yeah. yeah yeah and 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 uh, I really would like to see what what he can really do because I know that that he could but to me I think he loves boxing, but I think that he wants to get into the uh, management. No, uh, uh, the commentating part. Oh, the commentating. And he is doing and some commentating. Yes, he is, and he's I, a great commentator. Is he? He's a good-looking man. I've never seen him, but he's a good-looking man. Tall, yes, yes. You know, and he fits it. He, right. he, and, and, and he does. So I hope he does some more fighting and prove the people around here because mm -hmm. some people don't really think that he can fight when I know that the kid can mm -hmm. fight. Well, you know, yeah, right. you know. You would know. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, hmm. but but I hope that he gets a chance at a uh, world title. But I would like to see him go into commentating. commentating. Yeah, right. yes, because he'll huh. make a great boxing commentator. Great, awesome. yes, he would. Yes, he would. Well, um, I guess that is going to be it for well, today. Um, uh, yeah, I think we can round this up right about now. Yeah. Well, hey. But you peace know, out. Hey, peace out. Thank Ladies you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much. Mr. Hal Lewis. Mr. Hal Lewis, people. And thank you for having me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Uh -huh. Thanks for coming. Come on, You're man. You're so welcome. All right. Yeah. I'm going to stop sweating now, can't All I? right. So, anyways, um, we're, uh, uh, we're going to get rolling here. Uh, yeah. you know, we're going to continue the shot here a little bit. Uh, oh, uh -huh. you know, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, anyways. So, uh, uh, yeah, that. Uh, not a bad, uh, bad show. It's our, our eighth, eighth through. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're going to continue, ladies and gentlemen, to get more and more interesting guests in here. And, Which and Mr. Lewis was very interesting. Very interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, you know, we've, we've, had a, we've had a boxer now. We've had uh, Keith Bray, our sound guy. We've had Norman Jackson, Norman Jackson in here. Uh, we've had some really cool guests, and they're going to continue to come on. They will. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for this Sunday night, episode number eight, I'm Dennis Parker. 
I'm Sean Adams. 50 plus. 50 plus.